and gentlemen, at this time, we ask all who are able to please rise. Gentlemen, kindly remove your caps as we honor America with a playing of our national anthem. As we get ready, we'll do the starters for the North Judson Blue Jays. They're going to start a 5'6 senior, number three, Anna Garbison. And they're going to start a 5'10 junior, number 10, Kylie Leahy. A 5'4 freshman, number 11, Caitlin Tunis. A 5'7 freshman in number 15, Avery Johnston. And a 6'3 senior, number 24, Reagan Hensley. The starting lineups for Coach Whitley Combs in her first year. Two freshmen starting in that lineup, Val, and uh, it'll be interesting to see how they go because on the other side of things, we're going to have a couple freshmen as well. Right, but Garbusy, uh, Garbison, Lehigh, and Hensley are their three go-to, the, the three non-seniors. Right. When they need a bucket, they're going to go to one of those three <laughs> in the fourth quarter. Starting lineups for your Rochester Zebras. Again, brought to you by Fulton County Solid Waste District. It'll be a freshman, number two, Aubrey Wilson. A junior, number three, Riley Clevenger. A uh, junior, the number of 33, Ella McCarter. The three guards, as you heard Coach Burris say. And uh, running the uh, wings tonight will be a freshman in Jaden Field. And number uh, 15 and number 25, Audrey Bollinger, a junior on this Rochester squad. The interesting part is, Val, if you talk about, you know, he talked about two, ju two freshmen starting. But unfortunately, Audrey Bollinger missed all last year, so she kind of missed a year of basketball here. So she's not going to be quite playing at junior speed to start with. Right, and Mia Hadashal is very limited varsity yeah. experience. So really, McCarter and Clevenger are only are your only two varsity players with quite a bit of experience. Yeah. So again, uh, I expect them to do the the bulk of the scoring tonight, and they'll they'll incorporate the others in over time. But I mean, Aubrey Wilson's a good shooter, though. Yeah, and. Um, so, uh, and, and Mia Hadashel can shoot the ball a little bit too. So, uh, you know, one thing about Riley Clevenger is uh, if you start play during volleyball season, she's got better first step quickness yeah. than she did last year. Good. She's just stronger. You know, she's been in the weight room. Uh, didn't, hasn't been blessed with a ton of height, but uh, you, when we're also going to see this here, I think we're going to see some high ball screens. Okay. Is that, are those dirty, three dirty words, yeah. high ball screens at a Rochester girls basketball? But I think we're going to see some this year just so Coach uh, Burris can give Riley Clevenger some maneuverability out there. Well, I know Coach Stasiak used to love those high ball screens back in the day as well. So yeah. uh, we'll see. Because, uh, you, when, you know, when you had uh, the likes of some of those post players that Coach Stasiak had, high ball screens were very popular back in those days. Right, and, and, in the, and in Co when Coach Jennings was a yeah. coach as well, uh, that you liked the high ball screen a lot, and they – because uh, then they can get the, the bigs rolling to the hoop, and, and Rachel had some bigs who can shoot. Yeah. So We're uh, ready to go. Tip off here tonight, and uh, we'll be ready as the officials get ready. Again, first game for pretty much everybody. I don't know if the officials have had a game yet, but uh, we'll find out quickly. Man, a state finals <laughs> caliber crew here. I think all three of these guys have worked a state finals game before. McCarter and lead jump. Zebras controlling first. That's Wilson with the basketball over to McCarter, looking for Clevenger on the high ball screen. Judson McCarter. the man. 
Left side, now to Wilson. Wilson dribbles in, now top Clevenger. Comes to the near side, now to McCarter. McCarter, right side, swings it back side. Wilson with the basketball in front of the Judson bench. Now McCarter top of the key. She penetrates it, kicks it back out the field. Now to Clevenger, free throw line, extends it out to Wilson. Head ball fakes, gives it off to McCarter. McCarter with the basketball top of the key. Now to field, back to Clevenger. Clevenger guarded by Tunis. Now Wilson, free throw line jumper. Off the mark, no good. Quick rebound, comes out to Leahy. Leahy will push it for the Blue Jays. Comes up to the right side. That's Johnston. Johnston in the corner. She's double team. Now she's got to get rid of it. She finally does. Swings it back up top to Tunis at the top of the key. Seven minutes left here in the opening quarter. Varney and Val, glad you could join us here tonight for season opener. They get it down low into Leahy. She kicks it back out. They swing it. Three ball on the way for Tunis off the mark. No good. Clevenger with the rebound. Good recovery defensively by Wilson. Clevenger will bring it up. She'll cross the timeline. 6.50 to go here in this opening quarter. Left side now to Wilson. Wilson has it. Volleyball line extended. Now she goes to McCarter. She goes around at her fender layup. Up and just rolls out. Rebound comes away to Tunis. Judson on the break against Wilson. Pulls up, throws up a jumper. Good. Leahy with the basket. First points of the contest. Go to North Judson. Lead, lead 2 nothing. McCarter now will bring it across the timeline. Zebras will set. McCarter will go right side. Now back up to Clevenger. Clevenger just inside the three, off the mark, no good. Another rebound for Lehigh. On the run, Judson, knocked loose, picked up now this time by Tunis. Good Tunis. hands by Clevenger. Johnston swings it left side now to Hensley. Here's a three ball off the mark, no good. And the rebound comes away to the field. And we're gonna have a jump ball and it'll stay with North Judson. 6.03 to go here in his first quarter on the Rochester Glass scoreboard, it's Judson two, Zebras nothing. Joel Burris has very high hopes for Jaden Field as a rebounder. They get it in right underneath the basket, and that comes in to number 24, Reagan Hensley, and she's going to be fouled right away, and she'll go to the line to shoot our first free throws of the night. Zebra shooting foul, 25, Bollinger. That's on Bollinger. That's going to be her first of the quarter, and the first for the team. And Hensley now at the line shooting two. Yeah, Rochester had their head turned on that play, and... Free throw is good for Hensley. 3 0 now. Judson on top. A mistake of inexperience. Yeah. There's the second free throw off the mark. No good. McCarter with the rebound. McCarter will clear it, and now Wilson will bring it up. Zebras have it. Top of the key with Wilson. Now right side to McCarter. On the wing, McCarter holds. Top to Clevenger. We're going to have a moving screen violation. And that's going to be against Aubrey Wilson. That's going to be her first, team second of the quarter. 5.49 to go here in this opening quarter. Timing was off there. Yeah. She released on the screen a little, a little quick. quick. Yeah. Top of the key to go to Hensley. Now back out to Tunis. Tunis right side. Swings it over the top to Johnston. Three ball on the way for her. Good. Free throw. So now we have a... Not sure what we've got. It's got a three good for Judson, so it's six nothing. The official stops, and they're going to go to the bench. We have a delay of game warning on oh. North Judson. Okay. Touch the touch the ball. Garmerson touched it coming out of the net, so they called a delay of game. So here's Wilson. She'll bring it back across the timeline. Five twenty-five to go in the opening quarter. Six nothing Judson. Clevenger with it, right side. Now top to McCarter. McCarter head fakes, kicks it out to Wilson, left side. Wilson to the free throw line. She jump stops, kicks it, now to Field. Field loses it, but she's gonna be fouled. And it'll be the first foul on North Judson. Tunis picks up her first, team first of the quarter. The one player that everybody compared Jaden Field to me when they were talking about her was Lexi Thomas. Ball comes in, here's a three off the mark from Clevenger, and no good, goes out of bounds off the inbound pass, and that'll go towards the Blue Jays. I think Rochester's had some pretty good looks so far. Yeah, they've had some good looks. Can't get nothing to fall yet, still with five minutes to go here in this opening quarter. Hensley with the basketball, travels as she tries to make a move on the corner. Substitution for the game, uh, Minix, Grace Minix, the 5'10 junior, will come in for North Judson, and Hensley will sit down. 
So Aubrey Wilson will bring it across the timeline for the Zebras. She has it top of the key. Now to McCarter on the right wing. McCarter holds. She gets a screen by field. Free throw line jumper from the corner. Good. High ball screen. Yeah, there's the we're, high we're ball. right on it, Randy. <laughs> two, first two of the game for McCarter the and old. for the Zebras. Here's a steal by Wilson. Wilson goes to the hole, up off the glass, and good again. Quick steal by Aubrey Wilson, and it's a 6-4 contest. Judson leads with four and a half to go into first. Zebras in that extended 2-3. Top the key, they go try to get it in. Field knocks it loose. Ball still on the ground, and we're going to have a jump ball. It'll be Zebra basketball this time. Great hands on the Zebras as they try to get that pass into the paint. Knocked Turnover. it loose. Three, three quick turnovers in a row for North yep. Judson after really protecting the ball well the first three minutes. And Burkett, Kia Burkett, Kaya Burkett will come in, a 5'7 sophomore. Kaya will come in and she will replace Tunis. So here comes the Zebras, trailing by two with 4'10 to go here in this opening quarter. McCarter, left side, dribbles in. Here's Wilson. She'll fire a three from the top of the key. Good. Wilson's got five of the seven. And the Zebras take their first lead at the four-minute mark, 7-6. to six. Into the paint, turnaround jumper by Minix is no good. And a rebound fought for, come away by Blood Blue Jays. Lehigh has it. Now she kicks it out to Garbison. And then Garbison is going to get fouled on the drive. And that will be foul number three on the Zebras. Wilson picks up two quick fouls. Team's third of the quarter. I'm not sure what happened with Field. She had the rebound, and yeah. then all of a sudden, it was just yeah. yanked out of her hands. She's got, that's the second time she grabbed a rebound, and they just kind of knocked it out of her hands. She's going to be a little bit stronger. Johnson gets it in, into the corner. Quick three by Burger. Way off the mark. Field with a rebound. But having said that, she's going to be a good yeah, rebounder. There's will. no doubt you about can, that. You can see that right now. Zebras lead by one, three and a half to go. Seven, six here in the opening quarter. Wilson with the basketball. Comes to the near side, now to McCarter. Top back of the key to Clevenger. Clevenger penetrates, kicks it to McCarter. McCarter around the ball screen. The elbow kicks it back out to Clevenger, trying to go down low to field. They can't get the angle. She'll bring it back out and reset. Now she tries to go over the top and can't do that. Stolen by the Blue Jays. Here's Johnson, layup up and good. Johnson's got five of their eight. And now the Blue Jays back on top, eight to seven. Well, that's what you worry about with uh, Riley Clevenger because she's not the tallest player, so she's got to look over the top, and it's hard to get that lob pass to land. Here's McCarter with the basketball. Goes right side, down to field. Great pass. Stripped. Picks it back up. And field has it. Tries to kick it back out to McCarter. It's stripped. And here comes Garbison with the basketball for the Blue Jays. Garbison stolen by Clevenger. And now a foul going to be on Garbison as she retaliates try, even to steal the ball back, and she... Slaps Clevenger on the hand and picks up her first team second of the quarter. And a reminder, I'm saying of the quarter because we get five fouls. We shoot two free throws now. New rule. So just uh, remembering that. <laughs> Clevenger will bring the ball up. Clevenger has it right side. Now to McCarter. McCarter holds. Now gets a ball screen, goes to the paint, kicks it back out to Wilson. She'll fire a three from the left wing. Good. Wilson. Wilson's got eight. She and the Zebras lead 10-8. to eight. She had six in a summer league game against Northridge. I mean, here's a three on the way by Hensley. For Judson, no good. Rebound, fought for. And we're going to have a foul, I believe. Yes, Field gets the rebound. And she's going to be fouled. I believe it's going to be called on Menix, possibly. Uh, nice rebound by Bollinger in traffic. Nope, I was wrong. Of Jay course. Number 30, Dushak. 30. Dushak has the third. first foul. Team and third of the quarter. Number 11. And Hottishell will check in for McCarter at the 2-12 mark. Zebra's leading 10 to 8. All four of these juniors are honor roll students. Yeah. I mean, they're they know the system, they know the game. They're not gonna. Hottishell has it right now. Including she Mia. Holds, gives it off to Clevenger. Clevenger, left side, right in front of the Judson bench. Now brings it back up top, gives it off to Field. Field tries to make a move and unfortunately uh, travels. Yeah. Another turnover for the Zebras. You got to let Aubrey Wilson's your hot shooter yeah. right now. So you got to. You got to feed her. Yeah, and, and you set a screen for her too, so <laughs> get her the ball. 
Turnover, and we'll give it back to Judson. They'll bring it across the timeline. Top of the key is Hensley. Hensley drives to the paint, pull up jumper, no good. Rebound fought for, comes away, North Judson goes back up, no good. Second rebound back up and good by Minix. We're tied at 10 with a minute 30 to go here in the opening quarter. Clevenger has it, comes to Wilson on the near side. Wilson at the elbow. She puts the ball on the floor, goes around yeah. her defender and draws a foul. Hand check on Burkett. And that, that will be Burkett's first team fourth of the quarter. Seabers will have it to inbound. And McCarter comes back in. Wilson will sit down. 127 to go here in the opening quarter. Tied at 10 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Here on the near side. Hottishell will try to get it in. She does to Field. Field holds it. Now back to Hottishell. Hottishell dribbles across, gives it to McCarter. McCarter down in the corner to Clevenger. She'll fire the three. Short. Rebound comes away to Lehigh. Lehigh will look to push for Judson quickly ahead. That's to Hensley. Hensley in the corner. Goes around one defender and double dribbles. As she tried to work the baseline, another turnover on Judson. Turnover number five for Judson. Six turnovers for Rochester. Inbounds comes to Clevenger. Yeah, I thought with Wilson on the bench that North Judson would put on the press here, but they have not. I'm just surprised a, we haven't seen just the press. Some, just some token. Under a minute, McCarter holds. McCarter now to Clevenger. Clevenger and McCarter way out high at the volleyball lines. They're just going to look to try to run some clock here. Tied at 10. 45 seconds to go in the quarter. And again, Rochester ran this scissors action a lot in the quarter situations or late game situations with Emma Hodeshell and Callie Watson. And there, Clevenger falls down and gets the foul on Hensley. That's going to be her first. Team fifth will shoot two. Blue Jay foul number 24, Hensley. So that will send Clevenger to the line with 39.2 seconds to go here in the quarter. So first free throws of the night coming for Riley Clevenger. So Clevenger looking to break the tie, 10-10 with 39 seconds to go. Free throw is short. Coming in will be for Don Judson. Tunis sitting down will be uh, 24, Hensley. Clevenger will have a second one. Clevenger, a couple dribbles, eyes it, flies it. Hard off the back of the iron. That time, no good. Burkett with a rebound. Burkett then controls it, almost turned it over, gives it to Tunis. Tunis back up top to Leahy. Into the corner. Now to Dushak. Dushak will lose it out of bounds. Another turnover on the Jets and Blue Jays. Guessing Rochester will try to hold for the final 27.8 seconds. They started at one minute, so why would you not <laughs> do it here? Clevenger and McCarter up top. Judson's not going to let them just hang on to it. They're going to put some pressure on the ball handlers. Isn't that man? They extend it out. McCarter has it now with nine. Back to Clevenger, and it's going to be stolen. Stolen by Burkett. Burkett against McCarter. Hand, right hand layup, no good. Rebound comes away, still loose on the floor. And it's going to be a jump ball, and it'll be jump Rochester ball. basketball. North Judson. Oh, nope, excuse me, North Judson basketball. And actually, it's probably a good thing that Judson, assuming he can get a stop here, it's actually pretty good. Good thing yeah. that Judson gets the arrow here with three tenths left. Three tenths of a second. You got to catch and shoot. They get it. Look to get it in. They throw it in, and there's a shot at the buzzer. No good. And we're going to go tied at the end of the first quarter. 10 10 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. You're listening to Zebra Basketball and Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4. Mr. High School, as we get ready to start the second quarter, it'll be Zebra Basketball to start as we tied 10 to 10. Value your assessment of the first quarter. Uh, Aubrey Wilson. <laughs> a lot of Aubrey Wilson. She had eight of the ten points. Uh, Riley Clevenger struggled a little bit from the field. Uh, I think Coach uh, Burris would maybe like to get a few more looks for Ellen McCarter and maybe like to see Ellen be, be a little more aggressive. Yeah. Wilson back in to start the quarter. Wilson again playing with two fouls. She picked up early in that first quarter. She gives it off to Clevenger. Now back to McCarter, top of the key. McCarter dribbles. Jumper in the lane, too hard, off the back of the iron, no good. Lehigh with the rebound. Lehigh quickly pushes. 
It's five rebounds for Lehigh already. Lehigh gives it off to Dusak. Back to Lehigh. She stumbles and throws it out of bounds. And never turnover on the Zebras. Rumbling, fumbling, stumbling. Also into the contest for the first time tonight, Audrey Bollinger. Or excuse me. No, Bollinger's in, yeah. Bollinger checking in. I guess five. she started and came out. Five starters are out there. Yeah, back to the five starters. Clevenger has it. Three on the way from the right side. Off the mark, no good. Field with a rebound. She goes back up strong. No good. And the rebound bounces away. Still loose. It's going to be a jump ball. It'll go back to North Judson. Jump ball position. North Judson. So it'll be North Judson basketball. In time, that shot by Field's going to go in. Yeah. She's going to put that up and in. Uh, Couple substitutions for North Judson. I, I would... I was going to say next year that shot will go in. I wouldn't be surprised if it's next week that yeah. shot will go in. She's just going to learn from playing physical teams. Uh, and again, yeah. Rochester's schedule is loaded with pretty physical teams that first couple of weeks. Here is North Judson with the basketball after the jump ball. Goes to the top, the key to Tunis. Tunis now kicks it out to Johnson. Her three ball, good. She's got eight. And they break the tie, 13-10 now with 6.55 to go before halftime. It's not pretty, but it goes in for Avery Johnston. Wilson with the basketball, works to the right side, trying to get it down low to Bollinger, can't do so. Now they swing it to the left side to Clevenger. Top of the key, here's McCarter. McCarter holds, now gives it to Wilson. Wilson back to Clevenger. Works the left side, now with McCarter. McCarter's got the baseline open, drives it, but kicks it back out top to Clevenger. Clevenger holds. Now off the field, they swing it left side. Here's three for McCarter. In and out, no good. That thing was down and spit it back out. Garbison with the rebound. She'll look to push for the Blue Jays. Quickly ahead, the ball's knocked loose and picked up by the Zebras. Bollinger and a foul coming. And that's going to be on number 10, Lehigh. Number 10, Lehigh. Her, Her first, first, first and first of the, the uh, quarter. And entering for Rochester, number five. Coming in for the first time tonight, Braylon Hunter into the contest. Another freshman on this varsity team. That she'll make her debut here now, here in the second quarter. Good athlete, and she can shoot a little bit. Hunter has it to Clevenger. Ball's knocked loose. Clevenger picks it back up. Clevenger, left side. Back to Hunter. Hunter holds. Hunter looking, looking. Now to Wilson. Wilson has it. Wilson around the defender to Hunter. Hunter drives the baseline, spin move, kicks it back out. McCarter fakes the three, now gives it up to Clevenger on the right wing. Clevenger drives her defender in, gives it to Bollinger. Back to Clevenger. Clevenger drives in, head fakes, gets her off the feet, and there's this two for Riley Clevenger. Her first points of the contest. I'm not sure she would have made that shot last year. Yeah. I'm not sure she would have had that move in her to Standard control on the dribble like that. Wilson being very aggressive on the defensive end, and she knocks it loose and dives on the ball, timeout. and the Zebras, Zebras call a timeout. It's a 60-second timeout. We'll take one as well. 5.23 to go here in the second quarter. Zebras trail 13-12 on the Rochester Glass Scoreboard, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Here at Rochester High School, the Zebras get a 60-second timeout on a great defensive stop by Aubrey Wilson. And they'll have the basketball now with 5.23 to go. Trailing by one here in the second quarter. Randy and Val, glad you could join us. It's been a battle of the freshmen so far. It has been. Eight points for Johnston and eight points for Wilson. But Carter has it now. She drives the lane, picks it up at the elbow, kicks it back to Wilson. Wilson drives down low. Ooh. You'd like to see Wilson go ahead and take a look at that shot. She had an up and under. Instead, they turn it over. Yeah, that was just a good double team by Judson. Garbison at the other end, throws up a shot, no good. It's going to go out of bounds. Last touch by North Judson. Zebra basketball. 4.54 to go here in the opening quarter. I'm surprised we haven't Excuse seen more opening half. I mean, we haven't seen more touches from Hensley so yeah. far. I thought she'd be a little more aggressive herself. She is uh, a senior, and I thought she'd be a little more aggressive. Clevenger comes in the near side now to McCarter. McCarter back up top to Wilson. Wilson, left side, now to Clevenger. She'll fire a three off the mark, no good. And a nice block out by the Blue Jays, and Tunis is in there to get it. Gives six, it off to Lehigh. Six rebounds for Lehigh. Lehigh gives it down in the corner to Johnson. She's double teamed. They get it back up top. Now they kick it in the corner to Garbazin. Three on the way for her, no good. And a rebound fought for, and it comes back to Lehigh. 
Lehigh kicks it back out. Here's Garberson again. Swings it to Johnson. Three on the way off the mark. And Judson will go chase down the loose ball rebound. Back up top to Tunis. Now they swing it right side, and it's knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with North Judson. Well, Jane Field, she did, she did the box out part yeah. right. Yeah. It's the actual grabbing the ball grabbing after you box yeah. out that she missed out on. But yeah. Got to go get it. She's going to get a lot of rebounds in her career. She is uh, hot as shell, and the field will come back in. Hunter and Bollinger will sit down. They're more coaches than players on the bench. That's amusing <laughs> to me. 4 one to go here in the first half. Here is Tunis with the basketball in the corner to Garbison. Back up top to Tunis. Swings it near side now to Hensley. Three on the way for Johnston. No good. And a rebound to McCarter. Well, Hensley had an open look there. And yeah. that was halfway down the hoop. Here is Hottishell left side. Three for her. Good. <laughs> Mia Hottishell gets into the... And a foul on Judson after the ball went through the hoop. Shot is good. Shot's good. Takes the lead 15 the 13, shot, but a foul we coming. Have a foul on Number three, Number Garbison, three, Garbison second. shoving. Team second. Team second of the quarter, her second, and the Zebras get the ball back. This could be a big momentum swing for the Zebras. 15 13, they have the lead. They got to get it in. Finally, they do to a Wilson. Wilson. Right side, throws up a shot, no good. Yep, they're going to call either a illegal block or, yeah, they're going to call blocking on foul, field. Number 15, field. Field with a moving screen. First. She kind of took, as Wilson came, she kind of kept backing yeah. her defender down and yeah. can't quite do that. Yeah, not in front of the ref. Yeah. So the... Judson with the basketball up top. They go down low and loses it. Hensley, but picks up, or excuse me, Minix loses it. Hensley picks it up, throws up a shot, no good. Rebound goes into the hands of Wilson. Wilson, down low to Clevenger. Jump stop, up and good. Riley Clevenger. Clevenger's got two more to make it 17-13 now. Quickly down is Judson. Top Aubrey Wilson key. knows how to play basketball, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. She's a freshman, but... And now we're going to have a foul on Rochester. Going to be their second of the quarter. And the foul is going to come on. Ah, the shell is going to pick up her first. That's not a bad foul, no. uh, in my opinion. because uh, And now Judson wants a timeout. It's just a 30-second timeout. Go ahead, Val, finish your thought. Well, just you got him on the sideline. You think you can get a trap on him. And you've only committed one foul in the quarter so far. And right. I think that's... That's part of how you, um, how the fouls are going to go. Yeah. You can maybe take some chances if you're only at you know, two, three fouls, maybe halfway through the quarter. Hey, put some pressure on, yeah. especially in the second quarter and uh, in the fourth quarter. want to thank our sponsors uh, that always support Zebra Basketball here on Giant FM. First Federal Savings Bank. They don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best. Fulton County Best One Tire. The most important person to them is you. RTC Communications, phone, cable, and internet. Shepherd Chevrolet GMC of Rochester, where they always treat you like family. Full County REMC, making a better tomorrow since 1936. Just a few of the proud sponsors helping you spring Zebra Basketball to you tonight. Bethany Christian has defeated West Noble 45-28. That's a 1A beating a 3A, but Bethany Christian made it to the state championship game last year in 1A, so they're not your ordinary 1A <laughs> team. And uh, Kasten added Bethany Christian to their schedule in January. Here's a three ball on the way by Johnson off the mark. No good. Mia Hottishell with a rebound. Hottishell rips it down, gives it off to Bollinger, or excuse me, off to Wilson. And now the Zebras will have it with 2.45 to go here before halftime, leading by four, 17-13 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Here's Hottishell right side. Hottishell, one dribble. Now goes down low to field. Field, spin, move, up and good. Oh, love it. Nice. Jaden Field with a nice move down low. Puts the Zebras up 6, 19, 13. It was a pick and pop, and then they, they modified it and got it down to the post. Double team Johnson. She kicks it to the near side. Here is Hensley with the basketball in the near. Now back up top. Now down in the corner to Johnston. Johnson dribbles the line. Pulls up a jumper. No good. McCarter rips the rebound, and she's going to be fouled. Nice job by McCarter holding the 
rebound. This is Avery Johnston's first game. She's playing it like it's like it's her last. <laughs> Tunis picks up her second foul. That's the team third of the quarter. So coming in will be Lehigh checking back in for Judson. McCarter will inbound. Clevenger will walk it up. North Judson has not scored in more than four and a half minutes. 19-13, our score. Clevenger with the basketball. Now top the key to Wilson. To Clevenger on the right side. Back up top. McCarter, three straight away. Short. And it goes out of bounds. I think she was kind of fading away before when she even shot that one. She knew it right away. Unfortunately, air balls that one. It goes out of bounds. Judson with the basketball. Here's Johnston coming across the timeline. Now she goes down low to Minix. Minix loses it. Picked up by Lehigh. Lehigh to the hole. Up and no good, but a foul coming. And that'll be two on field. And that will send. Zebra foul number 15 field. That will send Lehigh second. to the line. And that was kind of a bad break because uh, Mia Hadashal made a really nice defensive play to strip the ball loose and it just wound up in Lehigh was just, look what I found. Lehigh misses the first free throw. Coming back in will be Bollinger for Field. And then also coming in will be Dushak and Craig, Grace Craig, number five, making an entrance here for North Judson. Free throw by Tunis, second one is good. So they break that streak, and now it's 19-14. Little pressure now by Judson. Full court pressure put on. McCarter has it in the backcourt, and she travels. Kind of surprised it was this long that, uh, that they waited to put the pressure on, but now down by five, they felt they needed to. Turnover number eight for Rochester. They get it in. They throw it in the backcourt. Picked up by five Craig, stolen by Clevenger. Clevenger for Rochester has the basketball. Minute and a half to go here before halftime. McCarter has it. McCarter, top of the key, hands it off to Clevenger. Clevenger, they're looking to double team, kind of an off trap as their Wilson's running the baseline. They give it to Hottishell, back to Clevenger. Clevenger will sing it back up top now to McCarter. Good spacing. 60 seconds to go here in the half. 19-14, Zebra's lead. McCarter, double team. She gets it off to Clevenger. Clevenger will dribble in and then back out. Zebra's looking to take the last shot of the quarter. Hottishell now gives it off to Bollinger. Bollinger back to McCarter. She'll back and back up top the key with 40 seconds to go. Judson with foul to give, so they can get aggressive here defensively if they want. Clevenger to McCarter on the far side. Here comes the double team against McCarter. McCarter will drive down the sideline. Gives it to Hottishell. She loses it. Ball's loose on the ground. Hottishell picks it up, and now we're going to have a jump ball. It'll stay with the, stays with the Zebras. But that will give North Judson first possession of the second half if we don't get another jump ball. Don't speak too soon. Uh, we could have <laughs> 25 seconds left. We could have a couple of them. 19-14, Zebras lead, Clevenger. They get it into McCarter. Oosh, yeah. McCarter then throws it away. Here's a turnover. Here, quickly down is Craig. Craig, left hand layup, misses. Zebra is trying to get the rebound. The ball's loose, still on the floor, and we're going to have another jump ball. Jump ball. Okay, see, you jinxed me. You said it. Judson gets it now with 13.9 seconds remaining in the half. Four across the top for Judson. They break two down in. Three ball on the way. That's by Burkett. Good. Burkett from the corner makes it 19-17 and full court pressure put on by Judson. They get it across and time runs out. The Zebras take a two-point lead to halftime. 19-17 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. When we come back, we'll have the halftime show being brought to you by Odell Lumber. When we come back, you're listening to Zebra Basketball as they lead at the Rochester Glass scoreboard 19-17 here at halftime. Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4. That's going to do it for the halftime show. Again, brought to you by Odell Lumber, your locally owned building supplier. Second quarter, or third quarter underway. Zebras have it. McCarter left wing. McCarter 
against Tunis. Now she gives it off to Wilson. Back up top to Clevenger. She'll fire a three ball straight away off the mark. No good. And the Zebras will go fetch it. But unfortunately, Field touched it last. It'll be out of bounds. It'll be Judson basketball. You'll take the good look. Everything was, yeah, yeah. Everything was right about that play except the result of the shot. So here comes North Judson with the basketball. The first possession of the third quarter. They go over to Garbinson. Garbinson back to Hensley, top of the key. Now to Johnston. Johnston has it left side. Hensley fakes. Now picks it up, gets it into Tunis at the elbow. We're going to have a kick basketball. We'll restart things underneath the basket. Baseline left for Judson. 7.25 to go here in the third quarter. See, we're still lead by two, 19-17 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. They get it in, finally, to it. Tunis. Good Comes defense the side. on the inbounds play. Tunis, spin move, kicks it back out to Garbison. Open three for her, short. And the rebound comes away to Bollinger. Bollinger with the basketball. Now gives it off to McCarter. Now to Wilson. Wilson good. will bring it across the timeline. Good strong rebound by Audrey Bollinger. Wilson picks up the basketball. Now she's got to find Clevenger and does so. Now to the far side to McCarter. McCarter holds. Now to Wilson. Back to field to Clevenger. Clevenger, cross court pass to McCarter. McCarter, right wing, gets the screen from Bollinger. Bollinger didn't quite roll in time and picked it up. And Wilson's going to be fouled. And that's going to be a foul on Tunis. It's going to be here Ooh. third as Wilson landed on the basketball. Yeah. It's going to be the first of the quarter. Tunis she gets up, third. knocked the wind out of her. But Knowing how Aubrey is, she's going to be just fine. Burkett comes into the contest now for Tunis. Tunis again with three fouls, first of the quarter. Clevenger gets it into Wilson. She'll cross the timeline. Wilson top of the key. Wilson crossover right in front of the defender. Gives it to Clevenger just inside to three. 12-footer on the way, no good. And it's going to be over the back. And a field is going to pick up her third. Her third. Team first of the quarter. 19-17, still our score. Johnston got lucky there. She yeah. gambled, went for the steal, uh -huh. didn't get it, and left Clevenger an open look. But Johnston has it now. She crosses the volleyball line, now swings it offside to Hensley. Back to Johnson. Johnson, left side, almost loses it, now picks it up back to Burkett. They go down low, kick it out to Hensley. Hensley, right side. To Johnston, three on the way for her. Off the back of the iron, no good. McCarter chases down the rebound. She's double teamed in the corner. She's going to have to get rid of it. She does, but unfortunately, Hensley's right there, steals it, throws up a shot, and good. She just turned and chucked it, and we're tied at 19. Full court press put on now by Judson. Zebras break it. Quickly ahead to Field, and Field is going to travel. Mia Hadashell will come in now, and Field will sit down. Given maybe another little ball handler in there as Judson's opting to put a little pressure on. That was Judson's first two-point field goal since late in the first quarter. Ooh. Tied at 19, 5.50 to go here in the third. Johnson with the basketball. Over 10 minutes. To Hensley. Three on the way for Hensley. Good. And we're going to have a stoppage in play. And the official will talk to... Uh, Lehigh and Wilson. Not sure what that was about. Three was good, so they take the lead. 22-19. Now that gives the Blue Jays an opportunity to set up. 1-3-1, one, one, full court presser. Get it into Clevenger. Clevenger trapped in the corner. Clevenger will dribble the sideline out of a hottest shell. Hottest shell will get it across. Back to Clevenger. Zebras break that pretty easy. You like to see that. Bollinger down low, the up and under, good to foul. Great move by Audrey Bollinger, good to see that move. It's her first big move of the night. And that foul is coming on Garbison. That's going to be her third, team second of the quarter. And now Bollinger with her first points off there will go to the free throw line to shoot one. That's an odd ball. That's an oddball. That's an oddball. <laughs> it's a great move from that left side. Bollinger free throw on the way. Bounces around, no good. And it's a one-point lead now for Judson. 
Johnson will bring it across the timeline. 5.25 to go here in this third quarter. Quick three on the way for Judson, no good. Bullinger rips down the rebound. Gives it off to Hottishell. Pressure put on even on a miss by Judson right now. They give it to Clevenger, tipped out of bounds by Johnston. Very, you didn't see a press hardly at all, but they're starting to press off the miss even. Wow. I don't know why Hensley didn't get a touch there. She scored twice in yeah, a row. Yeah. I mean, Wilson gets it into the corner. Now to Clevenger, or excuse me, McCarter. She's double teamed, but going to get a foul. And that's going to be the third of the quarter. And we'll see who they whistle it on. It's going to be called against number 10. That is Lehigh, her second. Lehigh, her second. Lehigh picks up two. Now we're back into the corner again to Wilson to inbound. 5-10 to go here in the third. They throw it ahead to Hottishell. Hottishell breaks the timeline. Hottishell gives it back to Wilson. Wilson, left corner, double team, gets it to Hottishell. Mia with the basketball left side. Now top of the key to Clevenger. Clevenger back door to McCarter. Great move. Carter up and no good. Thought she was going to get fouled, and she didn't. And now we got a jump ball to go to North Judson. I think Ella thought she was going to get fouled, and instead of finishing the shot, yeah, she kind of lost the concentration a little bit. I think she just rushed it a yeah. little bit, too. 22-21. Beautiful, beautiful pass. It was a great move. Clevenger. Here's Burkett on the far side. Crossover to Hensley. We go down low. It's going to be tipped away. Picked up by Rochester. First turnover of the half by Judson. McCarter with it on the far side. Screened by Bollinger. McCarter still has it on the wing. Dribbles down low. McCarter, the wraparound pass to Bollinger. She's going to be fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Pick and roll. Great, great pass. Blue Jay shooting foul, 52 minutes. That was on Minix, her first, team's Bollinger. fourth of the shooting. quarter. So Bollinger back to the free throw line. She's 0 for 1 from there on the night. So you get two here, and then you're in the bonus the rest of the quarter. Yeah. Four and a half minutes to go, even. Free throw on the way, in and out, no good. <coughs> Got to hit the freebies when the clock stopped. And yeah, Joel Burris talked about making free throws as a key, and ladies, he's 0 for 4 tonight. Second free throw on the way for Bollinger. And that one's good, tie ball game, 22-22. 4.20 to go here in this third quarter. Here's Burkett with the basketball, top to Johnston. Johnston, she'll fire a three off the mark, no good. Bollinger tips it, and Clevenger will come away with it. Clevenger crosses the timeline. Clevenger, now to Hottishell. The give and go to Clevenger. She'll have to dri dribble back. Down a little too low for Clevenger. Top of the all, Wilson. Wilson right side to McCarter. McCarter has the ball tipped, and it's picked up by Johnston. Good defense by Lehigh. Johnston, now to the top to Lehigh. Two ball, and inside the line. And Judson back up on top, 24-22. 3.40 to go. Here's the full court press put on again by Judson. They get it ahead, and it's a turnover. Kind of threw it ahead, and neither Bollinger or Hottishell went after it. And another turnover on Rochester. Burkett with it to Johnston. Johnston holds on the far side, back up top key to Burkett. She'll fire a three. Good. Three point basket. She's got two threes in the game, and it's 27 22. Wilson throws that one deep in the backcourt, and it's another turnover on Rochester. Here's Hensley with the basketball to Johnston. Travels. Yep. Made it, tried to make a good move, but put, forgot to put the ball on the floor first, and now it's a five point. Contest and Coach Burris wants a 60 second timeout. 3.04 to go on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. 27 22. Judson over Rochester. Giant FM and RTC TV4. After high school, the Zebras call their second timeout of the evening with 3.04 to go here in the third quarter. Wow, the Zebras uh, not handling the press very well. I, it, it, i sure Coach Burris has a press breaker in, but unfortunately right now they're just not, not running the press breaker. Right, and if you're Judson, you got to be happy because you don't even have to bring the fifth the whole girl in the one two one one back. She can just play center field, and she's like, yeah. well, look what I found. i got a steal. Zebras will have it after the timeout to inbound. Again, 
One, three, one, one, two, two, however you want to call it. They bring that middle one up pretty high. Zebras to inbound in front of the Jetson bench. They get it to McCarter, now to Clevenger. They go over the top to Bollinger, and Hottishell is able to snag it just in time. Bollinger, or excuse me, Hottishell, McCarter, back to Mia. Swings it left side to Clevenger. Clevenger to Wilson. She'll fire a three, kind of double pumped, but it looked good, and it's in. Wilson's in double digits. She's got 10. 27-25. Here's Burkett with the basketball. Now to Johnson. Johnson against Hottishell. Double teamed by Clevenger. They give it to uh, Lehigh. Lehigh. Now out to Burkett. Burkett's shot no good. Hottishell comes away with the rebound. Now they go to Clevenger. Clevenger will work against Johnston. She'll cross the timeline with 2.20 to go in the third. Wilson, free throw line. Kicks it out to McCarter. McCarter goes baseline, and she's going to be fouled, and she'll get to shoot two. You know, that's interesting because uh, when Lehigh guards Ella, Ella's been kind of careful. She yeah. hasn't really driven the ball on Lehigh, and then all of a sudden Ella thinks she can get a step on her, and Lehigh's going to, whoa, yeah. what's going on here? And that's a uh, bonus. That'll be Lehigh's third, team fifth, so uh, that will send McCarter to the line. Because uh, when Lehigh has been guarding Ella, uh, Coach Burris has preferred to use the ball screen yeah. in, that, in that particular matchup to free up Ella. But there Ella just said, okay, I'm going to take her off the dribble. Coach Burris also mentioned, I know in your pre, uh, pre -game or preview show or article you had with her, hoping to see McCarter in, in uh, that 12 to 15 range. That's only her third point tonight if she makes her first free throw. 27-26, a host of substitutions for Norton Judson. Dushik comes in, Garbinson comes in, and Craig will come in. I'm guessing they're going to substitute a little more since they're pressing. McCarter trying to tie it up here with her second free throw. It's good, and a tight 27-27. 2.12 to go here in the third. Johnston with the basketball. Johnston has it, left side, now to Hensley. Hensley will fire a three, and that's good. That's six for her in the quarter, excuse me, eight for her in the quarter. 30-27, Zebras break the press. They get it off now to Clevenger, top of the key. Clevenger. Yeah. Coming to Hotta Show on the near side. You could just see it. Hensley was that she got that bucket yeah. and that on the press and uh, just kind of got her going, almost got her in a rhythm. Hotta Shell drives the paint, leaves it for Bollinger. One dribble up and a foul coming. And that's going to be on Dushak. That'll be her third. And Bollinger back to the free throw line. Zebra just shot two free throws in the first half and they've already shot. Uh, five for the quarter, two Number more coming here. Bollinger looking for her first free throw of the night and hard off the back of the iron this time. She'll have another one. 136 to go here in the third on the Rochester Glass scoreboard, 30-27, Judson on top. Trying to cut it to two here now with the second free throw. Free throw by Bollinger off the mark, no good. Hottishell gets the oh. rebound, tries to throw it off the leg of the door. Judson can't do so. The ball's loose. It's a scramble, and we're going to have a what jump ball. What a play ball. by Mia Hottishell. Jump ball, and it stays zebra basketball. I mean, that was amazing was that hustle by Mia. <laughs> Mia thought she was going to try to get it off the leg of North Judson, but it rolled out into the middle, and then it was a scrum to see who could get it. And she was the first person to the scrum. Yeah. After, yeah. It's a great hustle by Mia. Clevenger inbounds to McCarter, back to Clevenger, drives the paint, kicks it to McCarter, left wing, top the key, stolen by Hensley. Hensley to the hole, Hensley up and good to foul. Hensley with two more, and gonna be Wilson's third foul of the game, second on Rochester of the quarter. All of a sudden, Hensley had one point at halftime, she's uh, gone off for 10. Here in this quarter, looking for 11. And it's no good. Free throw is pulled down, though, by Garbison. They keep the basketball. Kick it out top to John Johnston. Back to Hensley. Three on the way for her. Partially blocked by McCarter. And Hottishell pulls down the rebound. She gets it to Clevenger. Clevenger will cross the timeline. One minute to go here in the third. 
They hand it off to McCarter. McCarter, top of the key. Now to Clevenger. Looks like Zebras are going to try to work it for the last shot of the quarter. Clevenger has it. Clevenger gives it back off to McCarter. Back to Clevenger on the far side. Now they dribble in, looking to draw the defense away. They give it to McCarter. Double team. McCarter loses it. Falls down. Ball's loose. And we're going to have a foul on Clevenger for going over the top. Mm. And Clevenger hits the back of her head. Looks like she hit her ponytail. Hopefully. Zebras can't afford any injuries. And that's going to be on Clevenger, her first of the night. Team number three. And that will send Hunter back into the contest for Wilson with 35 seconds to go here in the third, 32-27. Judson will mount right in front of the Zebra bench. I don't think this will be a long break. I think just until the end of the quarter. Probably just uh, yep, get a drink in the quarter back in. Johnson has it to Hensley. Hensley on the left side. Hensley down in the corner to Garbison. She can't handle it. Turnover, Judson. 14, 14 turnovers for North Judson and 15 for Rochester. Full court press put on by Blue Jays with 25 seconds to go. They get it into Clevenger. Clevenger back to Hottashell. Hottashell ahead to Hunter. She'll get it across the timeline. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger back up top to McCarter with 15. McCarter holds with 12. McCarter with 10. McCarter right in front of Coach Burrows with seven. Drives the paint, kicks it out. Three on the way for Clevenger off the mark. No good. Rebound comes away, and the foul is going to come with 1.7 seconds to go. And that's huge because now with the bonus situation, yeah. Mia is going to get free throws. Free throws on the way. Garbison picks up her fourth foul. And now Hottishell will shoot two, and the Zebras will put nobody at the line. As Mia will try to put this thing closer. Hottishell's first free throw is good. She's got four. Back on the court, court and and Hunt Burkett. Burkett comes back in for North Judson. 1.7 seconds to go. Zebras kind of come up to the volleyball line. They're going to put a little token pressure on here so they don't get an open shot. Hottishell misses, rebound comes away, and that's going to do it for the quarter. 32-28, North Judson leads here at the end of the third quarter on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, Giant FM, and RTC TV4. At Rochester High School, getting ready to start the fourth and final quarter. Zebra's trail, 32-28 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Reagan Hensley outscored the entire Rochester team 10 to 9 that quarter. McCarter, or excuse me, uh, Wilson back in at the contest to start the quarter. Hunter stays in as well. There's a shot thrown up by Judson McCarter with a rebound. Zebras with the basketball. Clevenger shot up, no good. Quick rebound by, uh, that's Tunis back in the game. Hensley, top of the key, three on the way for Judson, no good. Ooh, right. And the Rochester rebound. Rochester caught a break there. You got to get back and get in touch with her in transition. Three on the way again, no good. And that's a rebound by Lehi. She throws a shot, no good. Bollinger rips down the rebound. Bollinger tries to get it to Wilson, stolen by Judson. Back out to Hensley, three on the way, good. Here's pressure again by North Judson, Zebras finally get it across the timeline, McCarter. 35-28 our score. Clevenger with the basketball. Here's Hunter, she'll fire a three good. First shot of the night, and it's good. How about Braylon Hunter, the first shot of her career yeah. in the fourth quarter of the season opener, and nothing but net. 35-31, Zebras down four. They get it into the middle to 52 minutes. Minix. Ooh, Shoots three. an air ball, but it's going to be touched by the Zebras. It'll stay with North Did Hunter Hudson. not know that the ball was blocked? Uh, apparently not. It looked like she could have had a chance to save it. That was good defense, I think, by bowling her to block uh, Minix. Judson gets it in. They get it into Lehigh. Lehigh, down to the top of the key to Tunis. Tunis dribbles in, throws up a shot, no good. Bowling her with a rebound. Oh, you'll take that shot. Uh, that was a tough shot by Tunis. The Carter will bring it across the timeline. No pressure that time. Here's an open three for Clevenger. Good. 
Riley Clevenger with three, and we get a timeout on the floor, and it's going to be called by North Judson. It is a 60-second timeout. 35-34, Zebras trail by one, 6.15 to go here in the fourth. Giant FM and RTC TV4. Back here at Rochester High School as Judson calls a timeout. And Coach Combs uses the timeout to get Avery Johnston yes. back in the game. And Johnston has the basketball top of the key, 35-34. Here's a three on the way by Judson. Tunis, no good. Bollinger with a rebound. Bollinger rips it out, pulls it through there. Now she's going to be fouled. So the first foul of the quarter coming. And that'll be Zebra basketball underneath the Judson basket. That one's coming on 24 Hinsley. It's going to be her second. I've got her for two. The announcer said one. But second on her two of the first of the quarter. McCarter gets it in. Bollinger. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger breaks across the timeline. Smart. Now to Car McCarter. McCarter top the key, drives in, kicks it back out to Clevenger. Drives in. Her pass is tipped out of bounds. Nope, going to be saved. And now a travel against North Judson. They'll stay with Rochester. That was a heck of a play by Johnston to get her hand on the ball yeah. and get the steal, but then they turn it right back over. That was smart by Clevenger. Didn't want to, they had a two on one, but you don't want to force it. You got a freshman who you're playing with, uh, that would have been a tough catch, a tough pass to thread the needle. Uh, valued the possession here. Clevenger with the basketball. Riley, and that's what Riley Clevenger did. Back up top to Wilson. Wilson has it, drives the paint, now kicks it back out to Hunter. Hunter with it. Hunter to Clevenger. Right in front of the coaching bench for Rochester. Clevenger with it, she'll back it back out. Gets a screen by Bollinger. Bollinger rolls, Clevenger picks up the basketball, now to Wilson. Three, top the key, rolls in and out, no good. Rebound comes away to Dushak. Now ahead to Johnston. Johnston has the basketball for North Judson. Now back to Hensley. Left side, Tunis, three ball, in and out and back in. Three point basket, Tunis. Tunis with her first points of the night. Makes it 38-34. Down low is Hunter. What a nice move by Braylon Hunter. Hunter run the floor well, and they saw her. And the first foul of the quarter coming against Rochester now on Clevenger. Braylon Hunter got to give a credit to the freshman there, running the floor nicely. They got it to her. She finished strong. Nice showed a nice play. little, showed a nice handle. Yeah. And able to finish off the glass. 38-36 now the score with 4.42 to go here in this fourth quarter. Hensley to Johnston to Tunis. Back to Hensley, right corner, three ball off the mark. No good. As it almost bounced back in, and McCarter rips the rebound, and she's going to be fouled. That's going to be foul number two of the quarter. And that foul is coming on Lehigh, her fourth. And Judson now will back out of the press. And again, Rochester doing a pretty good job at closing off the paint. I mean, Judson's yeah. hit some threes. You know, Tunis hadn't been hitting, and then she hits one there that banged off the rim a couple times and fell down. But Wilson with the basketball. Now to McCarter, top the key. McCarter holds against Johnston. Now goes to Clevenger. Clevenger, right side. Lehigh now on Clevenger. Clevenger with the basketball, top to McCarter. Johnston has McCarter. Now they switch, and now Johnston on Clevenger. Clevenger with the basketball up top. He's trying to take some time off the clock. Clevenger penetrates, now picks up her dribble, back to Bollinger in the middle. Back to Clevenger. Clevenger to McCarter. Still 3.50 to go here in this fourth quarter. McCarter kicks it out to Wilson. Wilson from the corner, penetrates, loses it. Johnston has it, and a foul coming on against Rochester. That'll be the second of the quarter. Yeah, that was Lehigh who got her hands on them. On the ball, good quick hands by her, and a very athletic play. Aubrey Wilson picks up her fourth. So coming out will be Lehigh, coming back in will be Craig. Both teams with two fouls on the quarter. If you're Joel Burris, when you bring Field back in the game, Braylon Hunter's holding her own out there, though. Yeah. There's Johnson, now to Tunis, back to Johnson. She throws it over to Craig, back up top to Johnson. 
Johnson penetrates. Tunis three on the way off the mark. And they save it, but right into the hands of Aubrey Wilson. Wilson, coast to coast. Wilson pulls up a shot. Oh, Good. That was big time. That was like a one on two. And Wilson. she uses her off arm yeah. to give herself a little space. And tied it up 38 38. Veteran move by Aubrey Wilson. The Three fresh. on the way for Hensley. Good. You can't forget about Hensley. And it's 41 38. Token pressure put on. Now McCarter with the basketball. McCarter down low, drives the lane, pits it out to Clevenger. Just inside to three. Good for Riley. 41 40. A flurry of scoring here in the last few minutes. Johnson with it, now to Hensley. Hensley, she'll fire a three again, no good, but Tunis with the rebound. Throws it up off the glass, no good. Ball's tipped, and it's gonna be yeah, off zebra Hudson. basketball. Last touched by Burkett. And when you get Jaden Field back in the game, because that was a, there was a missed box out there, and I think Coach Burris is going to have to at least think about it. Coach Burris calls a timeout. His last 60-second timeout, 41-40, 229 on Rochester Glass Scoreboard. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, Giant FM, and RTC TV4. Rochester High School, 229 remaining in this fourth quarter. It's a one-point Judson lead, 41-40 on the Rochester Glass Scoreboard. Zebras. Call their last 60 second timeout. They've got uh, three, two 30 seconds left. No subs. Wilson has it to McCarter. McCarter top of the key. Free throw line jumper. Good. Uh, kind of thought it was going to spit it back out, but it went down and it's 42 41. Johnson with the basketball. Now Burkett, she'll fire a three off the mark. No good. Hensley with the rebound. Hensley up and no good. Rebound. Hunter. Hunter gives it off to McCarter. Hensley's got to hit that, that layup. Again, Judson not, just not comfortable shooting yeah. in the paint. Here's Wilson has the basketball to Clevenger. Clevenger against Johnson. I like to run that exact same set, get Ellen yeah. open jumper in the lane again. McCarter dribbles in, now kicks it out to Hunter. Hunter will fire a three ball off the mark that time, no good. And the Zebras will turn it over to North Judson. Lehigh. Lehigh comes back in and Craig will sit down. 1.32 to go here in this fourth quarter. 42-41. Zebras lead by one on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Yeah, again, that's a freshman playing in her first varsity game. Tunis has it, kicks it out to Hensley. Three in the corner. No good. But Tunis with the rebound. Tunis kicks it back to Hensley. To Johnston. To Burkett. Down in the middle of Lehigh. And we have a timeout, North Judson. Judson calls a timeout right before the drive, and it's a 60-second timeout. We'll take one as well. 42-41, Zebras lead. Giant FM Sports and RTC TV for 13 to go in regulation. I guess I got to say it, Val. I didn't want to say it, but in regulation, 42-41, Zebras lead by one. What a heck of a ball game here in the second half. Curious to see what Coach Combs has in mind. This is her first game as a head yeah. coach. What does she have? You know, you would think uh, Hensley would be the go-to in this situation. She's uh, been getting a lot of big buckets for you. As for Rochester, again, it's uh, uh, handle the ball, uh, call out screens, yeah. and uh, but keep your position. Uh, interesting that Hunter is out, but Hodeshell is back in. Mia's back in. So you got the four juniors yeah. and the one freshman, Aubrey Wilson, out there. 1.13 to go, 42-41, Zebras up by one, Judson to inbound, baseline left. This is probably your best ball handling unit out there. Johnson gets it in to Tunis, down low to Hensley, Hensley against Bollinger, no good, Great Hensley with the Bollinger. rebound. Now they swing it to Burkett, now to Johnston, back to Burkett, left side, now to top of the key. Tunis fakes it, here's Hensley, two point shot, no good, but a foul coming against Hodeshell. And that's going to be just the Zebra third foul of the quarter and only Mia second. 57.47 to go. 57.4 to go here in this fourth quarter. 42-41, Zebra's up by one. Rochester with three team fouls. Or Judson with two. Johnston looking to get it in. Does to Lehigh. Lehigh drives in, up and good. 
Zebras get fouled as they almost had a turnover, but a foul coming against North Judson. That's going to be their third now. And that's going to be the 10th, or team Lehigh's fifth, so she'll have to come out. And Craig will come in. Nope, Garbison. Garbison comes in for Lehigh, who just fouled out. And well, that's big because she's maybe their best rebounder, and you're going to need a rebound here. She fouls out with seven. And Tunis will kick that out of bounds. The Zebras will have it to inbound. Still underneath the Judson basket. 44.9 seconds to go. 43-42 Judson. Wilson to inbound. Gets it into McCarter. She's double teamed. Back to McCarter. Stolen and a foul coming, but no good. And that'll send Judson to the line. And the Zebras now put Judson in the double bonus. And that will be five on Aubrey Wilson. <coughs> Wilson will foul out. Foul, with 12 Wilson, points on the night. And that will send number 11, Tunis, to the free throw line to shoot two. 42 Every seconds exactly to go, 43-42. Hunter. Hunter will come in for Wilson. Tunis to the line now to shoot two. Tunis on the night, no free throws. This is her first, she's got three points. Free throws missed. She'll have one more. 43-42. Judson on top, trying to stretch it to two here. Tunis, second free throw on the way. No good. McCarter rips the rebound. McCarter has it. Zebras trail by one to 38 seconds to go. Coach Burris calls a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here. 36.9 seconds to go. 42-43. Zebras trail by one on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Zebras will have it in front of North Judson's bench to inbound. What do you think, Val? I wouldn't be surprised if there was a high ball screen to get McCarter, or maybe even an off the ball screen yeah. to get McCarter open and get her a look in the paint. Clevenger will inbound. Here comes a little pressure by Burkett against Hottishell. Out of shell, gets it over the top. Mia with the basketball against Burkett. Mia, top of the key, 30 seconds to go to McCarter. McCarter left side. Screen to Clevenger. Like to see can't McCarter get take over. Tunis off the dribble. Back to Clevenger on the right side. Clevenger now is double team. She gets it off to McCarter with 18. McCarter has it with 16. Top of the key, back to Clevenger with 13. Clevenger with 12. Clevenger steps back. Gives it off to McCarter with eight. Back to Clevenger with six. Clevenger fires it up. It's going to be short. Rebound to Hunter. Hunter throws up a shot. Partially blocked. The ball's loose, and that's the ball game. That's the ball game. The Zebras lose a tough one tonight. 43-42. Had a couple looks at the end, but unfortunately just could not get the ball to fall. And the Zebras lose the season opener here tonight to the hands of the North Judson Lady Blue Jays. 43-42 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. We'll take a break, total up our stats, and we come back, we'll have the post game for you. Being brought to you this year by Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins, the law firm built for your current and future legal needs. We'll also have player of the game being brought to you by Fulton County Community Foundation. It's all coming your way after this. Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4. And Rochester High School time now for the postgame show being brought to you by Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins. Law firm Burt for your current future legal needs. Time now for the coach's interview being brought to you by McDonald's. I'm loving it. Coach Burris joins us now here in the postgame. Coach, 43-42, uh, uh, not ideally how you thought it was going to end up. We knew we talked in the pregame that it was going to be a dogfight because it was last year and the thing I think it sticks out the most, the last thing you told me is you wanted to keep them under 30. You let them score 43. Well, I'm going to tell you what the difference is. Just glaring at this book, the Hensley girl couldn't throw in an ocean last year, and she had 17 <laughs> tonight. Yeah. Um, she, she was not a shooter last year. Yeah. She didn't even look to shoot. <laughs> and if you would have told me, I mean, when, so when, you're, when you go into the first game, and your film is off of your game last year and then what they did late in the season mm -hmm. with the kids that they've got coming back. They had uh, 24, 3, and then 10. Obviously, was it Lehigh? Lehigh. 
she was the one that we were most concerned about because she was their top returner. Yeah. Uh, 24, she only looked to get the ball into into the lane, drive uh, drive baseline, um, get to the elbows. She did not look to shoot the three yeah. at all. So, um, but with the way we guard, after she hit one or two, we should have got out two yeah. or better. And um, I think that the first game, uh, we got a little mush brain and the legs went as well, um, which you expect that in the first game. Yeah. You don't, you can simulate game shape as much as you want in practice, but you got to get to yeah. games to get in game shape. Obviously, the freshmen came out and uh, performed very well. I think in the first game, uh, you said they've been playing all year. Well, you wouldn't have guessed. If you were just a fan watching, you'd have never guessed they were freshmen. Wilson, she's a gamer. I told her today, you know, she comes, she comes into my office today, and she's a little freaked out. And I said, Wilson, I said, you're nervous because you care. It's great. Yeah. I said, now go out and play your tail off on defense, and those butterflies, they'll, they'll start gurgling around pretty quick. Yeah. So um, I was very impressed with her. My goodness, Hunter, <laughs> I didn't know, you know, I finally just said, you know what, I got to get her in there and let's see what it looks like. Once she got in the flow of the game a little bit, she started to play well. Yeah. I know the that's a learning experience of the shot that she took late, but that – those are some things that you're going to have to swallow a little bit with freshmen. You know, there's some things that th those are just, those yeah. are learning things. That's right. stuff that we'll take care of in the film room and uh, she'll get better at those things. 36.9 to go. You call timeout. You're down by one and Wilson's fouled out of the game. What were you hoping for in that situation? Obviously you didn't, you didn't get a shot even up toward the rim until about five seconds left. So um, we wanted to get into our set. Um, we wanted to get into a set to have Clevenger, if you saw, she was trying to get off um, to come to the, to the ball side and flex McCarter out. Um, flex, she was on the left elbow and we wanted to flex her out, get Clevenger coming down the lane and then set a double on the other side. Mia has not played that position a lot out of that set. And that's where Wilson is always in that spot. Mm -hmm. We've practiced it with me in that spot, but 21 is obviously a lot quicker than, she's she's pretty quick. Yeah. Um, she had Mia beat to the spot. So you saw the timing get all out of whack. Um, then we just tried to space the floor. I didn't want to call a timeout because I wanted to, uh, I didn't want to call one more timeout because I wanted to see if we could get something off the play. Just yeah. scramble you know, those last 15 seconds. I felt like if I called a timeout there, that would give them another opportunity to set up something out of bat and or it, set up their defense. And with the weird foul rules, they had a foul to give there. They did. So who, who knows what happens if you call timeout? Maybe they just use their foul. They could have. They could have. Yeah. I think one of the other big differences, and I know it's early in the season to talk about it, but four of 11 from the free throw line, you, you hit 50%, which everybody, you know, goal is 70, 80. You hit 50% tonight, you win this thing. It's just, I'm I, I'm telling you, I I try to be patient with the free throw shooting and we talked about it. Um, we shoot them in <laughs> practice, guys. Oh, I know. Um, I've come up with some new things to try to put some more heat on them in practice. Um, we're gonna continue to do that. Bullinger isn't necessarily the one that you want at the line as much, but I'll tell you, I've talked to her in field a lot. Yeah. If they're getting offensive rebounds and we're getting them the ball down low, they're the ones that are going to get to the line. Right. But obviously you want RJ and McCarter out front. If they're being aggressive, you yeah. want them getting to the line. They're our two best free throw shooters. But last year, you know, Sid was our post. Yeah. She wasn't, uh, she wasn't somebody that was demanding the ball down there. Yeah. These two, they want they're it. a presence. You know, Sid yeah. was out of position, yeah. but that's where we had to play her. Got, well, well, why did you go with Bollinger in the second half? Most of the fourth. In fact, I don't think Field played at all in the fourth quarter. What do you? Was um, that just Bollinger was playing well, and you went. Yeah, to and I felt like um, I felt like she did a good job rebounding. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, felt, I had Bollinger with six boards. Yeah, 
And um, the against the press, if you saw in the third field, kind of got went roller skate mode a couple times. So I wanted to get her, and it it was just kind of the way the game worked out, the flow and. Bullinger, she's a presence in the middle. I, I think she'll only get better rebounding as well. Um, you know, the thing that stinks is, is we were not prepared for those two freshmen to come out. We, we didn't know about them. <laughs> you know, we didn't know that mm -hmm. they had two girls that are going to shoot 40% from the three-point line, and then 24 comes out. I mean, she, I don't know. If she, I bet I would go to guess she didn't hit eight to ten threes on the season last year. Yeah. yeah. And – she comes out and scores 17, ripping threes, hit four of them. That's, I mean, that's a dagger. I mean, that's, you've, that's it's tough. Yeah. You've got one day now to prepare for game number two of the season on the road down to Caston, uh, who's playing Argus tonight in their season opener. But uh, uh, you know what Caston's going to bring. They're going to bring some athletic, uh, not necessarily basketball skills on all of them, but they're athletes. They're going to be a load. Um, this is the gr This is the group. You know, like when Pioneer had those girls, when they had the Jack Kaiser roll through, all that, this is the group that they have been waiting for. Um, you know, they started out 18, 19, and 0 last year. Now you add in the Doug Douglas's daughter. She's the coach's kid. I know what that's about. <laughs> she's going to be smart. She's going to have great fundamentals. And when her feet are set, she's going to be licking her chops to rip against our, against our zone. Um, they're going to bring the heat. We know that they're going to bring the heat. Um, Scales and Zimpleman, they are winners. Those girls, they will run through a wall to beat you. Um, that's what we're trying to teach these girls how to do. But um, now I can't wait for them to come here next year <laughs> when those girls are gone. And I will probably be at Caston's graduation just to make sure they turn the tassel because I'm sick of dealing with them. They're a pain in the butt. But they are great players. They're great kids. Um, you know, I've I've had them in the driver's ed car and all that. Those girls, they are they're good kids. They got the Finky girl to come out. She's yeah. an athletic, uh, big type that can run the floor. She'll help them, I'm sure, in some ways. Gives them another person off the bench. Probably the X factor to their team is the Hinderleiter girl. Yeah, um, she has improved. I from the first game we played them. And when I got crazy and decided to go play them that second time, I couldn't believe how much she had improved mm -hmm. from game two when we played them to, well, the game two of the season yeah. to the to the second time yeah. we played them uh, the week before the sectional. Um, she's quick. She's gotten stronger. And I'm telling you, her Zimpleman scales, they live in that weight room. And I know – that they're going to be ready to rip our heads off. So we're going to have to come in. We're not – it's going to be more about film, getting our bodies prepared, um, and, you know, trying to go in there and fight them. We're going to give them everything we've got. Um, you know, I think that we can, we can compete with them, but we're going to have to come in here and look at some of the things. I'm not happy with giving up 42 points. I don't yeah. give a rip if it's the first game of the season or not. That ain't what we do. We, we don't do that. Yeah. So – um, Even though it was nine, they had nine threes, yeah. so you seem to seal off the paint for the most part. We did, um, we did, but I, I just with the way we play um, and the way we're supposed to close out to shooters, man. But the first game, it's just so tough because you go in blind, yeah. which they did too. Um, but everybody knows Clevenger and McCarter, yeah. um, so now it's going to be about those other three spots playing off them and. I don't know what Clevenger shot tonight. Um, she played her tail off. Um, she's beating herself up in the locker room because she, she's, a, she's a perfectionist. Yeah. You know, she shot the other night after practice, she went home to her barn and I, she shot 300 shots and 100 free throws. She's a basketball junkie. <laughs> so every time that she shoots the ball, I think it's going in. Yeah. Now, I've got to get her to when she's in game. Because I've told her and McCarter, I say, you guys, they are going to be glued to you. You know it. And I've got to coach you. I've got to coach you hard to get you yeah. to get the most out of you. Yeah, because we were talking about how did that affect Ella's decisions with the ball in her hands? Because they put number 10, who was long and athletic, just like Ella on her. And Ella just didn't want to, was careful so, on wanting to. So to, I, 
take I, her to the hoop. I think that what what you're what you're going to see with McCarter is, and we've talked to her about this, and I talked about her endurance has got to go to another level. She can't, when she gets tired, she can't stand straight up and try to drive standing straight up because if you're standing straight up and you try to put that dribble out, it's out here and it's yeah. up high. Yeah. You're not exploding off that. Mm -hmm. So I think as the season goes, you're gonna start to see that evolve. Um, you know, I told her and I told her and Clevenger, you know, I don't know that I've had more pressure on two kids. I had one kid at Trinity like that, obviously, when I was an assistant for dad at Southwood, we had some guys like that. But it's a it's a big thing on your shoulders. Yeah. And they 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 really care. You know, they love they love basketball. Those two are gym rats. They love being that we're wired the same. So, um, you know, I'm with them, and we're gonna we're gonna work through some of that stuff. You know, McCarter's in there. She's beating herself up because they wanted to win that, yeah. and they know that we had some things that we could have done better. Um, Got to look at look at some of the movement um, late, um, how our screening was, and when you get tired, people just lose their mind, yeah. especially early in the season. We got to work through some of that because. Obviously, we're not we're not real deep no. from the standpoint of we don't have an eighth and ninth guy. We've got <laughs> six and seven. And let me tell you, Mia Hattershell came in there tonight, and she did some darn good things yeah. for us. You know, she dove on the floor for a loose ball. She used car salesman, flopped, and got a foul, and went to the line and hit two free throws. Um, and, She's come back from the sickness, from volleyball. Yeah. You know, she's trying to get her confidence back. She's been dealing with some hip and back stuff. You know, I was I was impressed with her minutes out there tonight, too. Coach, we'll talk to you again on Saturday. Okay. Thank Thanks, you. guys. Joel Burris here on the coach's uh, interview at tonight. That final, 43-42. Val, we'll talk to you again on Saturday as well. Okay. Thanks, Val. Thank you. Again, the final tonight on the Rochester Glass scoreboard, 43-42. North Judson over Rochester. Again, our player of the game, Fulton County Community Foundation player of the game, goes to Aubrey Wilson with 13 points here tonight. For Val from RTC and the, uh, Randy from WRY, we'll talk to you Saturday night. From Caston High School, the Zebras and the Comets coming your way. We'll have Coach's Corner Saturday morning as well, so I hope you can join us at 8 o'clock for that. The final 43-42 on the Rochester scoreboard. Rochester Glass scoreboard, Judson over Rochester. Have a great evening, everybody. Talk to you Saturday.